That's a cool pumpkin. Oh my gosh, that club day was so much fun. It was so much fun. What club are you in? Man, I wish I had a cool club that I could go to. But I wouldn't get that lucky. Hey, BBN. Hope you enjoyed your first two club days. I know we did. But there's a lot of great clubs out there that people don't really know of. For example, our amazing book club. And you see, we had a great time, but no one showed up to it. Which is why we're coming to you, to recruit more members, to get more people involved in the great clubs in our school. What's the book about? It's, it's just a really great book. Right there. What is it about? You know, it's, it's, about, it's about like everything. About you know? everything. It touches on a little bit of everything. A little bit for everyone. Oh, what are we talking about? The book. Yeah, they came down to us and they said, preach, and we said yes. Recently, we've been getting lots of reports of suspicious activities. Is this some like satanic cult? Yeah, it seems cultish. It, I, cult. it sounds like a cult. I don't, like, is this a cult? No. And I don't really know where that's coming from, as we're just trying to bring people together. Make them join the family. What, that's a... That's a weird way to say it. Tell us how you feel about club. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so stoked. Love the club. Love the book club. Oh book my god. Book club, book club. Sign here? No, yeah. First and last name, please. First and last? Yeah. yeah. Don't worry, not binding. What? Pleasure doing business. It is a really yeah. honor. Looking it's forward to it. Thank you, thank you. I so, like, if I sign this, I'm not committing to anything. Yeah, no, it's, it's not, not binding. binding. It says so. Okay. Thank you so much to everyone who joined our club. Wait a minute. Club day wasn't about the activities or the club. Club day is about the people you spend it with and the friends you make. I, I think I get it now. I think I finally understand the spirit of club day. No. W what? What? What's going on? I... I, I thought this was a, a joke. I... W what's with the, the candles? I th why are you doing this? I thought this was just a joke. I, I thought the cold thing was a, was a joke. It was, for, it was for fun. It was funny. I know. Okay. Well, I think that's, that's probably good. Why, why aren't you saying anything? Where are you going? Annabelle, I... <laughs> Annabelle, don't leave me here. Annabelle? Anybody? Is this it? BV and Night Guard. Yep, this is it. Worlds of Grey, 
That's where I live. In these black and white cases with real lives on the line. Rookies get caught up in the yellow tape, but me? Nah. I look in between the lines. That's where the clues fall and get lost. That's what separates me from every other detective on this force. I'm willing to look when no one else will. Willing to do whatever- Tristan, are you monologuing again? You know no one does that, right? What's it this time, Captain? We're reopening an old case. Case 2002. Our top base worked on it a few years ago, but, you know, he was so close to retiring that when stuff got tough, he ended up leaving, but <laughs> you and I both know you ain't retiring anytime soon. What happened? It's a missing, uh, missing class. No evidence. Like it's ripped straight off the wall. Class? Yeah. How do you misplace an entire class? Beats me. But anyway, the whole year's gone. No senior photo at all. Bring me there. I'll show you. You see right here, look at that, we got scratch marks, broken glass, broken frame in the year 2002, gone, just like that. You weren't kidding, huh? You calling me a liar? You know, yeah, I am. <laughs> I am a liar, but I ain't lying about this. You think I did some sort of senior prank or something? Certainly no senior prank. <sighs> Too obvious with the scratch marks, this has just been a ding up when it was moving. You need to take some closer <sighs> examination, bud. And I need to take a closer examination of a donut. This is your problem, not mine. This isn't my first rodeo. I found missing assignments, missing people, hell, I even found where North Time went, but this, a whole year gone just like that. I'll have to go back to someone here before my time, even before Chief's time. I'm gonna have to go to someone from the higher ups of this place. So Principal, you know anything about these missing photos? Seems like such an odd thing to misplace. We've done extensive investigations, mm -hmm. put a lot of man hours into it, but I think I finally stumbled upon it. Hmm. Would any hint you can maybe slide my way so I can finally crack this case? In the class of 1999, they were abducted by aliens. And so when this class was abducted, um, what lasts an hour for these alien planet is a year here. So they were abducted for three hours on the ship. They were returned in 2002. When the administrators saw these people return, they had not aged. But with the new class, they thought it would be too weird to have a senior picture with like the old people with the new people. So just to kind of like cover all this up, they were like, let's just get rid of the senior photos. Well, I'll be looking into verify your facts, but thank you for your time. Anytime, yeah. anytime. Thank you, sir. Thank you, appreciate it. Clearly this case has the principal reaching for answers. I mean, aliens? Come on. However, I do understand that when a case doesn't line up the way we want it to, answers become desperate. I can't let myself fall into that pit. I refuse to put other cases on the line because I'm stuck on this one. As hard as it is, I'll have to put this one back in the cold cases. Until more evidence shows up, I'll just have to move on to the next one. And as long as everyone else is trying to plan my retirement, I'll keep solving the next one. So what made you decide to uh, 
um, do photography or like sports photography? Well, I've always just loved sports. Like it's always been a big thing in my family. And like I can't really play football, which is like, my favorite sport. So I was like, the closest I can get is like being on the sidelines taking pictures. And like the newspaper here offered me that chance. So I just kind of jumped at it. I like being on the field. I like being able to see what happens like at each moment because when you're taking photos down there you get to talk with um, like the administrators and you get to talk with other students with everything that they're doing and you get to learn a lot more about what's happening and I really enjoy that aspect of it. How long does it take for you to edit like your photos that you end up posting? Yeah, when, um, when I take my photos, um, after I take them, I uh, go in and I uh, upload them to our desktops in the newsroom. And I go through them and I sort them, crop them, edit them however I need. And that usually takes about half an hour. Um, probably that like not every single one is going to be good. Like I'll go through like a handful of photos. Like I'll take like, a thousand or eight hundred pictures at a football game and I'll get like a handful of ones that I really love. And that's okay. A lot of times people are like really hard on themselves, especially like when you're a new like staff writer, you want every single thing to be perfect, and that's just not how it works. And all what is your favorite thing to take pictures of? I love sports photos. Um, I really do. Football, uh, basketball is fun to take photos for. Volleyball is fun to take photos for. I am very bad at volleyball photos because it moves so fast that I really, it's like if you're not getting it exact, it mm -hmm. can be really hard. The advice I'd give is kind of be patient because it is hard to um, get over that whole being new at taking photos and kind of it's it's a struggle at first and it's hard to figure out where you should be and like because especially on a big field like a football field you don't always know where you should put your feet or like if you're even allowed to be in certain spots so I guess just follow someone who knows what they're doing and um, just keep trying to get better because if you get frustrated at the first time, like you're not going to get better. You need to keep pushing. My name is Tony Mixon. I am the new industrial engineering technology teacher here at Blue Valley North. How long have I been going to the Renaissance Festival? Uh, I believe it all started when I was about a senior in high school. So uh, we're, we're talking, you know, um, early 80s. My wife and I, actually, I proposed to her uh, in a Renaissance costume, I had um, rented from one of the guys out there a knight in shining armor costume, and she was an English teacher, so um, I actually called her principal to see if I could go in one day and surprise her, and I recall the phone call just like it was yesterday. He's like, well, why do you think she's going to marry you? <laughs> so I'm like, well, I've actually already asked her, and she said yes. That was on our first date. So um, it's been 20, 29 years together now, I believe so. 29 years, and we've been going to the Renaissance ever since then together. I've got four boys. They dress up as well. We've all got costumes. Um, even the grandchildren do. I've got three grandchildren, and um, yeah, it's it's a, it's, a, it's a family affair whenever we go out there. Right now, the the pirate theme seems to be the the big thing that uh, that that I tend to dress up with in my sons. In wood shop that I teach, uh, we get inspired from the things that we see around us, uh, be it online or be it from characters themselves. So. Um, the nice thing about that is, just like in Woodshop, you get to make it your own. So the, 
the embellishments that you put on it or the design of something that you see somewhere, you know, it, it leads to something else. But you personalize it. So that's what's so cool about the Renaissance and everybody getting into character. The Renaissance is a great way to just enjoy being out there amongst uh, some silly people and just having a good time. Huzzah! to ESBVN. We are so excited to bring you the next episode of ESBVN. My name is Stella. And my name is Janelle. In this episode, we are going to cover football, volleyball, tennis, golf, soccer. Let's get into it. But first, why did the ghosts go out for cheerleading? I don't know. Why did they, Stella? Because they had a lot of spirit. Happy Halloween. Now, let's get into the sports. Congratulations to Preisha DeLal from the girls' tennis team on making it to state. And a big congratulations to the girls' golf team on making it to state as well. We are so proud of you guys. Also, congrats to the girls' volleyball team. You guys had a historic season, getting first at the MoCam tournament, first at EKL, and a great run at state. Yes, big congratulations to volleyball. We are also so proud of our football team and how they fought through this year. Good job, boys. Now, fly it over on a broomstick to Issa to talk about football and volleyball. Uh, we're here with Coach Allen, uh, head coach for the volleyball team. Uh, how are you today? I'm awesome. How are you? Uh, great. So coming off a big win, two big wins on Saturday against Olathe East and Olathe North, how are you guys looking to go into state regarding the other teams and thinking back on last year trying to win state? Uh, yeah, we have a pretty tough pool on Friday, so we're just going to have to play really well and have a good week of practice. That's important for us this week and just to get better every day. Um, you know, we have Blue Valley West, who we barely beat, so it's going to be tough to advance this Saturday, but I'm pretty confident we can do it. All right, thanks, Coach Allen. We're here with Austin Bowen, uh, running back for the Mustangs, and has he has the most yards, rushing yards, right? Mm-hmm. Um, what has been your thoughts on this past season? Uh, my thoughts on this season, I think we could have done a lot better than we did. I think we just had a lot of mental mistakes. Thanks, Austin. Back to you, Stella and Janelle. Thank you, Issa. Our boys soccer team has really come through this year with an exception of a few red cards. They finished with a great season. Yes, great job, boys soccer team. Speaking of red cards, here to comment on a red card he recently received in a game, Miles Wooderborg. Over to you, Issa. We're here with Miles Wooderborg, center back and captain for the boys soccer team. How are you today? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing great. Uh, so do you want to tell us about your recent red card? Yeah, so basically I got caught up in the heat of the moment and said a word I probably shouldn't have said while I was standing right next to the referee and he didn't like that very much. So I got sent off. And then now that your season has almost come to an end uh, with regular season, 
how are you guys looking to go into playoffs? Um, I'm just excited for one last year to try and make a deep run to the playoffs, and we're just getting ready every day. All right, and who do you actually have to Thank you, Isa. Fall sports are starting to wrap up, and we are so excited for our upcoming winter sports. Last year, girls basketball won state, and we can't wait to see how their next season goes. Here to comment on fall and winter sports, Isa and Miss Curley. We're here with Miss Curley. She's our athletic director here at North. Um, so you pretty much like almost see like basically almost all the games, right? I try to do three to four a week, um, but a lot of games, yes. Yeah, that's a lot of games, yes. So. What do you think about our fall season so far overall as a school? Um, I think it was a great season. Um, Culture-wise, we got a lot of kids back into the stands this fall, which um, I always like to see some kids at events that we don't really get kids to. Um, we've been very supportive and a lot better with our Rule 52, which is the sportsmanship rule for Keisha, so that's been good. So yeah, good fall. And then looking forward to the winner, what are you most looking forward to? Um, I'm pretty excited for our bowling team. I think they're going to have a much better season. Like They get better every year, so I'm excited to see what they do. Um, obviously, girls basketball is super fun to watch right now, returning state champs. Um, we have a new wrestling coach, so I'm excited to see what happens there, but lots of good stuff happening. All right, thanks, Curly. Yeah. Thank you, Issa and Miss Curly. I think our Signing last. off. Who? Happy Halloween! Happy Halloween! Ready? We'll see you next time. This is ESBVN with Janelle Green and Stella Jones. Happy Halloween! <laughs>